<laughs> so, so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We're back here. Uh, yes, we are. Now, Suzanne, tell me something. You, we've mo- known each other a couple of months now, but when I first met you, you were out in the parking lot and you had this little vape pen, right? Mm-hmm. So you had already been using a form of medical cannabis, right? And it was the government program, the federal government program, is that correct? Or, or? No, not at that time. No. Oh, okay. I, no. I saw some weaknesses in the federal government program, and I, and I know a couple of people that are on the federal government program, and, and it's too light. It's not, it's just not enough medicine for their needs, right? Because the people that are using the federal government, like the London Drug, Shoppers Drug Mart, and you sign up for a federal government program through doctors in Vancouver that do medical cannabis. Mm-hmm. They don't use cannabis every day. No. They are not fascinating and curious about this plant, and they're not, they're, they're brokers. They're marijuana brokers. They're not educators. So it's really, really important that when we sit down with people and we teach them how to use cannabis, we do it the right way. Now, you were, you, you were using cannabis products, but I saw that, that big areas of, of improvement that we could use for your cannabis uh, structure. So we took you down to the Compassion Club, and I, did we go to the Compassion Club for you for your high THC, or did we go to the BC Pain Society? I think we went to the BC Pain Society. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Okay. Now this stuff is what eighty percent THC, right? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I sleep I, at night. I, <laughs> I finally sleep at night you after twenty years of being night. in pain. I finally yeah. sleep at night. Yes. Now this is really really important because people say, "Oh, you're going to turn into a drug addict, and it's highly addictive, and there's no medical benefit." But here's the thing. Marijuana is the gateway drug. Yes, yes, they all think that, and it's absolutely untrue. I found, the, I found opioid was uh, the, the gateway, gateway drug. drug. There's no question, yeah. and they've proven it time and time again. So here's my thing that I'm really, really excited about. I gave you a dose in the car, right? Mm-hmm. Now when I take somebody down to the, to the Compassion Club, I will, I will dose them a small, 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 the smallest dose I can possibly give you out of the, the little tube, and I dose it because... I want to see how you respond and how it, it affects you. It's going to affect you in about 20 to 30 minutes. And it'll blossom or bloom in about 45 minutes to an hour. That Rick Simpson oil that I gave you, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a Rick Simpson type of oil from Vero Desco Labs. Tell me, and I, this is so much fun. So I've given you the dose and we're, <laughs> we're driving back to Abbotsford. What happened? About the 20 or 30 minute mark. How did you feel? I started to chat way more. <laughs> Where did you pay? What happened to the pain? It felt like the pain just sat on the back burner. I knew it was there, but it wasn't as pronounced. It wasn't the focal point of my day. In that moment, the focal point of my day was having a conversation. The focal point of my moment, rather, was having a conversation with yourself and our dear friend as well. And mm-hmm. yeah. And so the pain goes over here. Yeah. Instead of being out front. Instead of being in the, the front. The conversation's in the back. from speaking. Yes. And, yeah. So the pain, as a chronic pain sufferer, your pain is always here and your conversation's right here. You, that's, that's the last right. thing you want to do is conversation or eat. Or in the back. Be, yeah. Because it, 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 you literally feel like you're dumb. Yes. And you're and, not, but and, you feel exactly, that. Exactly. But cannabis yeah. comes along yeah. and it makes the conversation more important because it takes the pain. It and they call take, that dope. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah, it doesn't take the pain a completely away, but it changes the characteristic of the pain yeah. where you say, wow, this is really different. It's different. It's not, not scary. You don't get high. You don't get... It's really interesting. So tell me, so as you, were, as you were lifting, how long did that last for you, that little bit of medicine? Well, the little oh, bit yeah. of medicine I noticed uh, took place within at least 10, 15 minutes. So it wasn't that long, and I did have an empty stomach, so that was really good for me. And I uh, also noticed that um, I was able to concentrate better not long after taking it. I didn't feel like I was high. Yes, that's, that's not important. how I felt. I felt tired. I felt tired from feeling this pain all the time. So that's how it made me feel. It wasn't a burnout yeah. from Mary Jane. Yeah. It was, I'm exhausted now, but I can speak, I can communicate, I can listen. I'm not preoccupied by my pain. I'm in the moment. That's the most important thing that we need to show people. In the moment. Yeah, it, because what cannabis does is, uh, scientifically proven, it takes you your brain to the alpha brainwave frequency and it locks it there. Yeah. Whether you want it to or not, it locks it there. 
and it holds you in that place. Now, when you take anybody into the alpha brainwave frequency, they're automatically relaxed. Mm -hmm. It's just the plant does it for you. You don't even have to consciously do anything. Well, you so, can meditate to obtain that. Yes, exactly. People but think this it's so is scary. a real quick, short way. Um, I do advise that you meditate. It's important. I'm not saying you shouldn't because Mary Jane can make you feel more relaxed <laughs> yes. real quick. Yeah. So now the Rick Simpson R from Vera Desco, uh, it allows you to sleep how many hours now a night, do you think? I sleep about six to eight hours. It just depends. It depends on how much I take. And uh, I still wake up. However, I'm able to go back to sleep, which That's is good. That's huge. When yeah. you give someone back the gift of sleep, you literally change their lives. Yes. Well, under my eyes, I, I was really dark. I'm not as dark now. Yeah. That's from years of not being able to sleep. Yeah. So I had raccoon eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah. So tell me, you and I have both been on pharmaceuticals and strong opioids. Tell me something. What was your vaping experience like when you vaped with me? I felt the pain just go away. How it, long did it take? It didn't take very long. Uh, it went away in a way that I felt um, marijuana, um, medicinal benefits activated throughout my entire body. And what happened was that it calm down my nervous system so the misfiring and the impulses stop long enough for me to have a breather that's key 